Hi guys, this is a little tutorial. I'll just show you how I do um, side chaining in Waveform Pro. Now there's two ways you can do side chaining. You can set up a, uh, a single compressor and then direct the channels to side chaining, you know, to a, to a side chain uh, compressor. But uh, what I'm doing is I'm doing it the other way. I'm doing uh, um, individual compressors on, uh, I'll put it on three of the channels. So we'll get straight into it. I'll show you what I've got. Uh, a very generic sounding track I've put together and, and this will be downloadable if you've got this software, if you've got waveform. And I think I've done it in a way that means it just uses the built-in plugins and you should be able to uh, load it into the free version of Waveform 11. It's just been released. But, so I've got a very generic sounding track. Uh, let me just delete that for a minute. It's uh, one, two, three, four, five tracks. So let's just play it back. <laughs> what we've got and I'm going to make it sound better or to my idea of what sounds good it will sound better and more modern more punchy uh, by adding some side chain compressors to it so this is the first thing I'm going to do I'll take uh, this kick track in fact let's just listen to that in isolation for a minute we'll solo that track highly original uh, kick drum pattern there for EDM. So let's uh, make another copy of it and then using this I'll just uh, remove it from the group just so I can make individual changes to this particular kick drum track and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to mute it because this is just going to be used as a trigger. I'll rename it uh, call this trigger kick and that's just going to be used as a trigger for the side chaining. I don't want to be able to hear it. So that's obviously unchanged. So let's start side chaining some of these tracks. Uh, I'll just use the built in, very simple compressor that it comes with. Uh, I'll put it on the strings first of all. And uh, what I do is I go up to side chain, I select. Uh, trigger kick as the input for the side chaining. Switch the side chaining on. I'll switch it way up and then take the threshold down a bit. And what we'll do is uh, first of all I'll disable it. I'll just put these two, uh, well I'll just have this one on its own. side chaining and hopefully so you can probably hear it just sounds like there's someone who's got hold of the volume control and they're kind of like waggling the volume control in time with the music and that's the sound that we're after and that's done for two reasons first of all it's quite a recognizable sound in EDM music and synth wave and uh, pop music and things like that and secondly what it does is it ducks because sometimes a, a sidechain compressor is called a ducker say in radio work that's what you call it a, duck, uh, a ducker and what it's doing is it's ducking the sound out of the way every time the kick drum sounds. So every time the kick drum sounds, the volume's going down. And then it's going back up when the uh, kick drum has finished. So it tightens the whole mix. So two reasons. First of all, for a specific type of sound. And secondly, because it, it makes um, it adds clarity and punch to the mix. <laughs> Okay, 
So that's those two tracks together. And you notice, as I say, it's not using the kick that we can hear, it's using this other kick. And one reason for doing that, for having two kick tracks, one that's silent, is let's say I want to go like this over the entire song, stretch it out over the entire song. That still works, the side chaining will still work to add this rhythmic effect to the other tracks, even if I um, I cut out the drums for a little while. You see, I want a little bit without the drums, or say if there's an introduction before the drums come in or something like that, the side chaining, you know, the pulsing side chaining sound will still work. So, uh, anyway. <laughs> Okay, so what we've got here is a bass line. I'll just play that in isolation. It's using the new arpeggiator plugin, which I absolutely love because I love arpeggiators and I'm, I'm so happy to have that built into traction now. Um, it is still a little bit buggy, I have to say, at the time I'm recording this. It sometimes sticks on on some of the notes. So I'm not doing a tutorial on the um, uh, arpeggiator today. But, and I will if, if anyone wants me to, but um, we just have these continuous notes. And the arpeggiator plugin's making it go. Like that. So let's add the same side chaining to that. And just by simply control dragging, so holding down control and then just dragging that same compressor across. And the reason that I'm doing it this way, having separate compressors on the tracks that I want this effect on, is it just means that I can have slightly different um, slightly different settings. But let's see what that does. Now what you can do is tweak the effects. The stronger the effect, the more of a little sort of click sound or maybe more of a pip sort of sound you get as the sound ch side chain coming, comes in. Okay, so now we've got side chaining on two different tracks. So. Okay, um, that's maybe diminished the overall sound of that bass a little bit. So what I'll do is uh, the output gain. I'll just turn that up a little bit. Let's listen. And as I say, one of the reasons that you're doing this is so that you can... Um, so that you're moving things out of the way, so everything's literally being turned down when the uh, the uh, kick drum plays. So you've got a bit more space in the mix. So what I'm going to do is I'm now going to add it again to a third track. That uh, very bland sounding um, hi hat. Again, listen to what exactly what it does. Uh, here we go. Here we go. Right, so this is without it. Just a little loop that I made. And then let's add the side chaining in. And of course you can pu push these tracks a little bit higher than you would be able to normally because they're just sort of uh, being pulled down when the kick drum plays. So let's see what that gives in total now.
us what you can do. I mean, we're not uh, really getting into it today, but let's uh, just quickly see if this produces anything any good. I'll use the built-in uh, delay plugin and just add that to the baseline, and then sidechain it after the delay has been added. So. <laughs> You can end up with something that's just overwhelming, so let's take off the uh, side chain and just see what that would sound like. Well, it's not too bad, but it's. It would maybe take up too much room in the mix. there and sort of risk adding things that would just be sort of saturating it. Right, let's take that out and let's just try the reverb plugin. Uh, here we go, put that on the bass brick before the compressor. Let's just switch the compressor off for a minute. <laughs> a bit of a mulch, but let's put the side chaining on. Possibly manageable. So and I'll switch it off. Oops. Like I say, I'll make this file available for download and uh, feel free to play around with it and ask any questions and uh, if there's a tutorial on anything that I know how to do, um, feel free to request it.